Okay, good morning. So we're up to Simon Reish Ches Sif Tes. Uh, working through the brachas of different things, of Paris and the flower and Rosanus, etc. So we're up to Sif Tes. And now he is uh, talking about uh, the Kemach of Doichan, of Millet, a different type of flower, which is not one of the five grains. So says the Mechaba, Erav Kemach Doichan, he, he mixes in a flower of millet, or shar mine uh, kidneys, or other, or, or flour made of other beans, im kemach shel chameshes mine dogon. He mixes it together with other, with other flowers. You know, like you have like a mixed grain, a uh, mixed grain flour. Ubishle bekader, and then he cooks it. Mavarech berimne mezenes valamichya. So in that situation where you've got a combination of flour from the chameshes mine dogon, of the five grains, Plus other grains, uh, you make the overall. You make a berimim zinus nala mechia. The imos men pas, and likewise, if you make bread from this flour, mavor chamoitzi or birchas hamozen. For davka she yesh ba isa kemach mi chamesh zaminim kadesh yech menu kazayis dogon bichte achilas pras. Because remember, only the the chamesh zaminim dogon is going to be a berimim zinus nala mechia, or is going to be a hamoitzi and 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 birchas hamozen, but not the other grains. You know, the potato flour and the other flours you make shahako is, is it, not the other grains. So there's got to be, uh, uh, you've got to have a kazayas of the of the chamish smini dogon eaten b'chte achidas pras. Avalim ain by ze hashir me chamish haminim, ain a mavarach b'sev birchas amazon. Because if you haven't got that, then you wouldn't make a birchas amazon in this situation. Ela betchilim mavarach hamoitzi, but rather in the beginning you would make hamoitzi. Kivin sheyesh by tam dogon because it does have a taste of dogon after all. Afar pishe em be kazais bechdelach spilas pras. But even though it doesn't have a kazais bechdelachilas pras, or le besayif ala michia. And in the end, you would make an al michia v'im bishle bechdel. And if you cook it, mevarich tchila berim in mezenas v'achur berim nefashes. Okay, that's the end of sif tes. So in short, you've got a mixture of um, of non chameshes mine dogon with chameshes mine dogon, and uh, overall you make an al michia. And uh, you make a berimim zayis nala michia, or you make hamoitzi in berachas amazon. But that is only if you have a, uh, a kazayis of the, of those chamishim mm-hmm. in the dogon. But toich kdei achidas pras. Okay, says the Mishnah Brura, sif katan mem aleph, mevarich berimim zayis. The canal besif base, like we said previously, ayin sham mevarich hamoitzi berachas amazon to pass gomer who because it's considered proper bread. Uh, after all, you do have um, grain from the chamishim in the dogon. But that is only true if you have a kazayis uh, of the chamishis mini dogon bichdechilas pras. Now, how much is a pras? Says the Mishnah Mem Gimel, pras who chatsi kikar shel eruv. It's half a loaf, which you know you use for eruv tafshil and things like that. Yesh omrim. Now, how big is that? Some say shloisha beitzim v'yesh omrim abba. That's the famous machlekas. Either three or four eggs will give you the pras. Well, will give you the the kikar. I mean. The kazais, and how much is uh, that? That's what the pras is, which is chatsi kika. And some say that's three, and some say four beitzim. The kazais, who chatsi beitzim. Now, kazais is half a beitzim. And that's what we measure uh, for all this in the Torah. You eat a kazais of whatever, then that, that's the shear in the Torah. Because if you eat a kazais of something, but you eat it slowly, in a time in longer than it normally takes, uh, in more more than a kedachilas pras, then it doesn't join together for malchus or for chiyav chatas, etc. For hachanami and so too over here, in brichas amazon to boin and sheich kazayis, so boin and dafka sheich kazayis dogon. We need a person to eat a kazayis of dogon in a kedachilas pras, and therefore ain mitzarf sheich kazayis shelo yale bechte sheich alochel b'toich sheachilas pras. And therefore, it's only going to join together if you ate it in a, you know, a fairly quickish time, whatever that is, three minutes, four minutes, nine minutes, whatever it is. You can only, therefore, make a Baruch HaSamozen if there was enough Kemach uh, of the Chamesh Mini Dogon in that time frame. That then, if you would have eaten a, a bread of four Beitzim worth, so that that's the that's that's that is explaining what the machab is saying. Okay, now if you have this combination of chamishis mini dogon flour with other flour, 
then you make in the beginning Hamaitzi. Says Mishra Memdalad, because the Kaiman on the Kama Basiman Reshud, the Bracha Rishaina in its Rikashir. So for a Bracha Rishaina, you just need even the tiniest amount. And if therefore, uh, and therefore, even if you have a small amount, less than a kazais, since the overriding taste of this combination is chamishis mini dogon, you would make a mazonas or a lamichia, or if it's baked in the form of bread, you would make hamotzi. Uh, because it has a tam dogon, says Mishabur Memhei, Holav Hochi, but if it didn't have a tam dogon, Loichashiv, your bottle, a mavarach shahakal, the bread of Fosh's rubbers, like you would with any other flour, like potato flour we said yesterday. You, you know, you make a shahakal on that cake and then a bread of Fosh's. Ula besoif. Vafilu loachal rak, kazayas meapas. Um, yeah, and then you still you would make a brichas amazon. Ala michio, rabbi meachrenim niskashu bezeh. Now, well, what's this going on? This ala michio is going on. Uh, this is sifkot and memvov. This is going on the way the where the, the, the mechaber says you've got to have um, you make hamotzi in the beginning when you've got a combination, and at the end, if you had if you had uh, if if you had in, in, uh, enough of a kazai of the chamish mini dog, and then you make a berman uh, you make a brichas amazon. But if you didn't, then if you make an alamichia. Now that he finds very difficult. Says the says the mishnah berur memzayin alamichia. Now rabbi meachrein and niskashu bezeh. That's very strange. That when do you ever have a birchas hamoiti in the beginning and then an alamichia in the end? You don't see that anywhere. Um, in, the, in the other case, the alternative case, when you've got a cake or something, you make a berm name Zonas because it has a little bit of a tam of dog on. But if you didn't have a kadeachilas pras, a kazais kadeachilas pras of the mini dogon, then you make a brain of foshes. So why is it if it's baked into a bread, do you make an alamichia? The hachinam in pras, it should be the same with pras, and therefore you should make a brain of foshes. So machma ze be emes higi agra, the tzarech leim gam kan the lebesoif brain of foshes rabbis, and indeed the gan changes it from alamichia to brain of foshes because uh, that, you know because in the same as as, as if it was. You know, like in a cake form, you would make a mazonis at the beginning and a brain of at the end because you take the bracha it doesn't need the shear. But if you haven't got the shear at the end, you make a brain of Well, so too if it was bread in that form. Uh, many struggle to explain uh, or try very hard to explain the shulchan aruch. I'm belly rabba, matzihuda, or machmazer, roil yereshemaim. To avoid this doubt, the Yerei Shemaim Shalechol Paskazet Ela Batei Chasuri should only eat this sort of bread, which is a combination of all different flours. But you're not eating a Kadiachidas Pras of the Chamishis Mini Dogon in the correct shear. The best thing to do is to have it in the middle of a Suda. However, if a does a person does do according to the Mishnah Bura, uh, according to Shulchan Aruch, i.e., he makes an Alamich at the end, uh, then then Ein Limchis Biyad. They don't protest. Because that's how many uh, poskim go. If you look at 38, he quotes the Igris Moshe who says that Lahalochi, you should go like the Gan, i.e., you make the beginning Hamaitzi and the end you make a Bore Nefoshis. Okay. That's a good quiz question. When do you make Hamaitzi Lechman Aretz at the beginning and a Bore Nefoshis at the end? The answer is when you've got mixed grains together of the five minute dogon and other types of grains together. So it's got a tam of dogon, of the chamish minute dogon, but you don't have enough of it to eat a kazais because the is pras. So the coin to the gone, you make a brain of fashas. Coin to the shulchan you make a lamechia. Vedaoit. Dehu adin ima pas hoimur of kemach dogon kazais because the achilas pras. If so too, if you had enough, you had a kazais of the achilas pras of that of chamish minute dogon. However, and a shehud lo yachol rak mix as pas. You only have a small piece of the bread. You could have had a lot of zesim, but you didn't have a kazais of the dogon. So too you would not make a brichas Okay. And so too, if you cook it, you make a bari mizenus, and afterwards you make a bari nefoshes. Says the Mishnah Berurah Memches, Rotzaloma v'lohe b'kemach shalmini dogon kazais b'chetachilas pras. 
So, same again. Well, so too, there was, maybe there was a shir kazais of minidogon, but you just didn't eat a shir kazais of minidogon. But you had many zaysim, but not a shir of the, of the dogon. Like we said previously, even though you may make a berim name in the beginning, the canal but see base. Avala michia ainu yochel levarich el ashir kazayis dogon valkein. Mevarich rak birchas berim name berim name foshes rabbis. Bishvil yes haminim hamurav betav shilzeh. And therefore you make a berim name foshes because of the other things that are combined with it, i.e. the non chamishis mini dogon. Vayim be ber halacha should be arnu de lav dafka tarovus kemach be kemach. If you think about it, it's lav dafka the non chamishis mine dogon that are considered mixtures that require burner fashas. Do adinim erev chamishis mine dogon im dvash. Even if you have the five mine dogon, like proper mazonas, but you add in other things, honey, tavlin, aisha minim vachi besiv hanal, besiv es hanal. Kam kein buin sheh mi chamishis mine dogon kazais bechle alis vivas pras. You also need a a kazais uh, of uh, the chamishes mini dogon. If you you know then then you would uh, make a brain of fashas because you haven't had a kazais of the chamishes mini dogon. Valkain mine garfin, which we said before, groats all these types of things. Me chamishes mini dogon shemavashel in bulbas for kinyas for kiyos. It was a ein of arachim sevah lamechia. Ela davka k'sha'achol mini adogon kazais bechdei alas pras. You can only make an alamechia if you had a kazais of Chamishis mini dogon. We call Mokum. The Indian pass kissed in Shemur Bechulin, but sorry, but Tavlin Harbe could go in Sukalekach, Nagin Oil and Verkal Basov Alamechio, Kashiesh Bekazais. Af Shebemin dogon Levada Nimsaboy Ain Boshir Kazais. Even though you know you've got some sort of cakes and biscuits where you may not have a Kazais of pure flour, uh, however, but you've added other bits and things, bits and pieces, tavlin and dvash and fillings that may build it up into a uh, kazais. Um, and, and therefore, the minig is to make an alamichi on that. It's coming, it's sort of joining and it's coming to prepare the food. It's start from oichel gufel ashir. Uh, therefore, it adds to the shiv. This is bein zeb mongen avram, but simin reish lechatchil atov lizoyel ashaya shiheb bekemach shir kazais. And therefore, ideally, you should be sure that there is enough Kemach to make a kazais. Now, I'll tell you why this is very practical. Because think about, you have a little strudel. You have a little piece of, um, my mother makes a gavikulta. A gavikulta is like um, a mazonus with, uh, with, with uh, raisins and jam and, you know, like that sort of filling. Or, imagine you've got like a cheese danish. You've got like a, um, you know, like a, a mazonus and you've got cheese, sweeter, just sweet cheese fillings. So, the mazonus, really, you need a kazais of the mazonis. And the question is, do you, are you mitzdarif, the fillings, to the kazais? So if you look at note 40, he deals with, uh, sorry, 41, <coughs> sorry, 40, he deals with this. The uga in milu, if you've got a cake with a filling, could go in uga skvina, yes, uh, like a cheese uh, filling, a kriches hanikris strudel, kasev haganam shlema zaman arbach, she im ein oichlin mea dog in kazais bechidech ilas pras, yeish levarich achareh burin afoshes. If you haven't got a kazais of the mazonis bit, then you should really make a berin of at the end. After mitchilim mevarchan the berin of it's true you make a mazonis at the beginning, because that's because machmas shaha shashchva shal dogan of minikaris because the the, the the overriding thing that you're eating is mazonis. That's you know that's that's the main thing that you're eating. So for sure you make a mazonis. Vah milu nitful elov and the milu the filling is considered toffel to your mazonis. Meachas agvina vah peris nikarim b'fnazon. They are recognizable. There's cheese filling or there's fruit or whatever it is. And it's not similar to regular cake. There, imagine a chocolate cake, a marble cake or whatever. There, all the sugar is very well mixed. That the milu is not mitzdarif to the shiv. And therefore, Valkenia is levarach leber and nefashis mishum shapas mitzdarif is milu. Uh, and uh, and therefore, what should you do? Make sure you have a second piece. Yeah, make sure you have a second piece. You'd be extra from and have a second stickle of cheese Danish and thing. Yeah, avada. Yeah, and, and if you look at forty one. Um, the Chaznish Kos of Shenir Shah Tavlin Vabasom Mitzdarf in the Kazais, he says it is all Mitzdarf in Ishbet Sarachian, and he quotes the Igris Moshe, 
Toma al mina ga'elim shem itzar shem atavim l'shir kazayis k'dei levarich me'in sholosh. He wonders also why are you why are people mitzar of all the other bits? Really, because shari afim efshel l'tzar from the achir of chelim mekemachu mikol makom l'maisa lo nefchul mindogon. The end of the day, the cheese doesn't become mindogon. And then neither does the fruit and the other things. For kasha shel ma'isa ein levarich ba'ofin zebrechus me'in sholish elish mikomakim gam ein levarich ba'in nefoshes. However, he says you don't make a ba'in nefoshes either. So what should you do? Lachain yoichel oy that she yishayah shalach kazayis madogon. The best thing to do is to make sure that you have a kazayis. That kazayis is not so big. Think of a little matchbox, right? It's like it's less than one rogula. But make sure you have enough mezonas that that's going to count. That will give you a kazayis. Lachain hergan reli yashav and shainberg. So if you're not sure, then you are on the side of caution, don't make, but the, really the best thing to do is to make sure you have a proper kazais of pure mazonas to avoid the problem. Uh, just mem test, just finishing. Okay, so just to summarize, we're talking about in this in this sif, you've got mixtures of none of the chamish mini dogon grain with the chamish mini dogon grain. So therefore, you in that situation, since you've got a flavor of the chamish mini dogon grain, you make a mazonus. And if there is a kazais of the chamish mini dogon grain, you make an alamichia, and so too with the bread, you would make a berman, you'd make a hamoitzi, and you make berchas hamozan. So long as there is a kazais of the chamishas mini dogon. However, um, and then at the end we spoke about the, the fillings of, of, of cheese and of, of fruit and things like that. And there, to make an alamichio, you need a proper kazais, ideally, of the, of the mezonas rather than just the fillings. Say that.